Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. In case you're new here, I'm Haja. Today's tutorial is about how to apply glitter makeup and eyeliner without the eyeliner looking bumpy and uneven because of the glitter particles. I'm going to demonstrate this beautiful soft peachy glitter eye makeup look and show you two methods on how to achieve a crispy and flawless eyeliner when wearing glittery eye makeup. Let's start right away with the eye makeup. So first of all, we need to prime our lids with concealer or eye primer and blend the product well with a damp beauty blender. This step gives us a nice blank surface to work on. Now we start with a transition eyeshadow shade called Play from the Huda Beauty palette New Nude and apply it with a blending brush in the crease line as well as above the crease. We mainly focus on the outer V and build up the product while applying and blending it. I wanted the shade to look a little more intense in the crease line, hence I'm using a tapered blending brush and focusing on the crease line. The last step is to blend the transition shade in the outer V with a blending brush without product to soften any hard edges. Next, we switch to the shade Teddy and apply it with a medium-sized blending brush on the outer corner up until the crease line and build up the intensity of the product. Once we like the intensity, we change to the tapered blending brush and blend the eyeshadow in a V shape. We mainly focus on sweeping the brush in the crease hold inwards and outwards. We repeat the steps of building the intensity of the shade with a blending brush and again use the tapered blending brush to blend hard edges away. The last step is to take the big sized blending brush without product on and give it a nice last blend. With a pointy dense brush we apply the shade Teddy also on the outer half of the lower lash line. Next we use the concealer Ton Couture Everwear by Givenchy in shade 20 and apply a thin layer of concealer with a small concealer brush. We start cutting our crease by starting from the inner corner and going up to the center of the mobile lid. Now it is time for the sparkle. The first method is to apply the glitter first, but while considering leaving a gap between the lash line and the glitter application. That way you will leave a smooth surface for the eyeliner later. We use the shade Crave and apply it with a mid-sized flat dense brush as our base shade. The glitter pigments in the shade are very soft and small, hence I use it as a base. Make sure to pat the brush and slightly sweep to apply shimmery shades. Next, we switch to the glitter shade called Infatuated and apply it while pressing it onto the lid. Keep in mind not to get close to the lash line with the glitter. Then we apply our liquid dip in eyeliner by Sense in black. We create a basic line first and then extend the line on the outer corner to create a wing. For more detailed eyeliner application on hooded and downturned eyes, I'm going to link down below my eyeliner tutorials. The eyeliner application goes really well and smooth since the glitter particles are not in our way of messing with the eyeliner. Now 
after applying the eyeliner, you might notice the gap you left was a little too big, hence you can take the brush and fill in the gap with glitter. The second method works pretty the same, you would only first apply your eyeliner and then move on to applying the glitter. The closer you get to the eyeliner, you might want to use a small size flat dense brush to apply the glitter. That way your eyeliner will not be covered with glitter. Also, if you do not use pressed glitter like me but loose ones, consider using a glitter glue before applying the glitter. To complete the eye makeup look, I apply waterproof mascara by L'Oreal called Flash Paradise. Then I use a pair of falsies from the brand Kiss called My Lash But Better in the design So Real. I'm lately in love with this MLBB series since they have the thinnest lash band which makes it look so natural after the application. I blend the falsies with my lashes by using a lash curler to press them together. And that's it for the eyes. Let me know whether you have been doing it wrong or correctly in the past when applying glitter makeup and eyeliner. I always knew how to do it correctly, but I always messed up the order. For example, I always applied the glitter on the whole lid, not leaving a gap and then remembering that the eyeliner application is going to be uneven with the glitter on. It is frustrating, but for the next time, just practice it, especially if you're a huge fan of sparkle. I I hope I could help you and if I did, please consider liking, sharing and subscribing to my channel for more and better content. Thank you so much! Bye.